So you mentioned um, curiosity as, a, as, a, as an important step to um, to learn about ourselves mm-hmm. and to help us to help us feel uh, more self-love. And can you elaborate on that and maybe give an example of uh, um, of, of using this curiosity to feel more self-love? Yeah, actually, you know, curiosity is something that question what we think, question what we feel, question what is around us. And if you question everything, you can also remove this um, self-doubt because you are just curious about things. You are not judging anymore. So let's take a concrete example. You yes, mentioned please. you mentioned perfectionism. Yeah. And and. What, what questions do you ask yourself to like learn about the perfectionism that is in your heart, that is in your brain, or your worker, worker, workaholic? Uh, I don't compare perfectionists to that, but I compare perfectionists as setting standards, high standards that are too high. And I, re- I recall one of my professors when I was writing my thesis, uh, my, and I had to give it back. But for me, it was a draft. It wasn't good and, you know, not good enough. And, and I can still work on it and, and so on. But he said to me something that stay with me until now. Okay. Nothing is perfect. Everything is perfectible. So keep with that and don't let perfection go on your way. To do things that matters to you. Okay, so so uh, what what the professor said helped you to uh, feel um, less pressure, or no, it's not to feel less pressure um, because if you <laughs> be conditioned to be a kind of high achiever, you want to do really good, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not to remove the pressure, but to say it's okay and to love yourself the way you do you did the things you did and it's okay and just be okay with that and calm and feel this serenity around what you do okay thank you